Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here, coming at you with episode 457 of my TTM Mail Day. This is all the mail from Saturday. I apologize for not getting the video up uh, since Tuesday, but uh, unfortunately, um, I had nothing absolutely on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, I had a couple, I decided, uh, got a couple TTMs, and I just decided to wait on them uh, on doing a video. And then Friday, got absolutely nothing but my neighbor's mail. And I had all of his mail, so that means the mail person delivered my mail to either them or some random person in my neighborhood. So somebody out there has a nice autograph collection already. <laughs> so I, I was not very happy with that because uh, I got my neighbor's credit cards, debits, and everything. So I mean, who knows what the heck they got or whoever got, and I can't get a hold of them because they're not opening the door, which is kind of suspicious, you know. Um, even though they, they're home and they know I'm there. <laughs> it's like, why? Well, you don't want your mail? But, uh, yeah, so it was not very fun. So I'm going to have to look into getting a P.O. box to hopefully combat that. But uh, I think that, I don't know how much it is uh, per year, but I, I think when I get to the post office sometime, I need to look into getting that. So anyways, let's go and get into this video. Um, let's start off with a good note here. Uh, first off, I'm do a shout out to Jack Williams. Um, he sent me a letter requesting my autograph. Um, he's a subscriber to the channel and fan of the channel, so I really appreciate it, Jack. Uh, you want to do this, man? Um, it's really cool because you know, since I'm sending TTMs to the people, I've always wondered, you know, how do they feel when they're opening up a letter and reading reading my letter? And uh, this is pretty cool to be on the flip side of things and. Uh, being the recipient of an autograph request rather than sending them out so I will get this out to you as soon as I can Jack uh, most likely tomorrow um, I think I can do it then I'll get it in the mail for you and uh, I'll put a few extras in there for you so um, thanks Jack for doing that man uh, I really appreciate it um, picked up some stamps some Swiss stamps uh, to send to Sophie Lauren so I'm just going to send those out I think there's like four in there or something like that I figure that should be enough postage. Um, got a letter from World War II veteran Burke Waldron. Um, he threw out the first pitch to the Seattle's Mariners game, and uh, he was just writing a letter back because I, I sent him a thank you letter for writing to me, uh, signing stuff I sent him and all the extras, and uh, he's just he said he's got over 500 people that have mailed him, and he's just been sending out uh, thank you letters. So that's really cool of him to do. Cause first I saw I was like Burke Waldner is that is he sending to me again? So well, that was pretty cool uh, that he's taking the time to do that. So real class act man right there. Uh, thank you for your service also, Mr. Waldron again. So if you guys haven't sent the Burke Waldron, definitely go do so. I'm sure he's always happy to hear from uh, people. Got one astronaut in today on a 4x4 photo. This is Mr. Rex Walheim. He also signed a sticky note on the back. STS 110, 122, and 135. And uh, here's the, the sticky note and Psalms 19, 1 inscription. And then uh, I got my first 9 11 uh, TTM. This is Mr. Bob Beckwith. He's a firefighter. Um, he was on a famous uh, magazine cover with uh, President Bush uh, there in Ground Zero. Of course I was six years old when that happened. I didn't entirely know what was going on then but uh, to look back at that. Uh, very sad. A uh, very sad moment in our nation's history. Uh, hopefully something like that won't happen ever again. Um, got a jockey of the famous racing horse uh, Secretariat. This is Mr. Ron Turcotti. Uh, he is actually paralyzed now. Um, I did send to him for the Hit the Deck contest. Uh, I sent him a three for the Triple Crown winner. He, he did not return it. Uh, I don't think he signs playing cards anyways, but it was worth a shot. He signed the 4x4 photo, and then this is really cool. Looking back, way ahead of their competition right there. So that was a really nice photo. Secretary, one of the greatest racing horses of all time. Then got hockey player from uh, Thursday, Wayne Malloyne. He signed my 4x6 photo I sent him. 
for the Crusaders. He played for quite a while. And then he also sent, also from the Crusaders, a, an old postcard, which was real nice of him to do that. I know Henry likes the postcards. Cleveland Crusaders, so that was pretty cool to get back from him. Uh, this one came Saturday. This is Mr. Mickey Redman, former Detroit Red Wing. Sign a 4 by 6 photo for me. Got some football in. Got former tight end of the Oakland Raiders back in the 90s and 80s, Mike Dial. A 90 pro set because those cards always look really nice signed. Uh, I got Mr. Bob Newton, former offensive lineman for the Chicago Bears. Signed my 4 by 6 photo. Do not have a 74 tops of him. But uh, it's almost the same thing in a photo of that card. And then he also sent some extras with... I hope they're not somebody else's because, you know, this, this is the third time where I've received, like, uh, customs that somebody's made. And the writing on the back is, like, the exact same. So I hope this isn't, isn't somebody else's. I hope this is just some extras he had. Uh, but this card, Bob Newton. Well, it's not a card, but it's a printout of a card. And uh, Nebraska. It's kind of like an index card size, but slightly bigger. And this one's already signed by Danny Noonan. And that's why I'm kind of like worried, like, is this somebody else's uh, custom card there? Because I've, I've seen this before with uh, Tom Courtney and uh, J.K. McKay. The same handwriting on the back. So I, I just hope that's uh, not somebody else's. Uh, got some baseball here. Got some cards as well. Uh, former Braves pitcher Charlie Polio. Don Russ and scorecard there. I know my Brave 2012 like that because he's a Brave and he's also trying to do the 88 score set. So there's a good one for you there, Cole. Um, got Ken Gerhardt. I sent three cards. I could have sent more, but I just I didn't want to go more than three. Uh, signed a couple of his rookie cards there. Well, I guess they weren't rookie cards. I'm sorry. They're more like third-year cards. Um, he had to retire due to the injuries, but uh, he was you know, once a promising power hit power hitter. Um, he had injuries his whole entire entire career. He was a pretty decent hitter. He had 14 home runs and only 284 at bats and uh, 87. So you know it's pretty solid right there, and that many at bats. Um, this one's pretty cool. I wasn't completely sure if this would work or not. Um, he's doing part-time radio for the Philadelphia Phillies. Shout out to Mike O because he mentioned that in one of his videos uh, on the 94 flare for the collection. Mr. John Crook. Um, really incredible contact hitter. Um, really turned his career around with the Phillies. Uh, he also has a pretty funny video of him in the All-Star game pinch hitting against Randy Johnson. And he was so scared to go up there. Because the previous batter had like just been hit or something, he didn't want to get hit by a hundred mile an hour fastball. He just kept jumping all the way. It was absolutely hilarious. Go check that out on YouTube. Um, got a four by six photo signed by former White Sox pitcher Bruce Howard. Signed and pen down there. Got a couple photos signed by power hitter, outfielder Leon Roberts. He were at the Astros in his earlier days. And later in his career with the Royals photo got cut off a little bit but that's alright Leon Roberts and it's actually a Nestle card rather than Topps in the top style but uh, Nestle I guess produced that one um, got an all-american girl baseball player got a couple of them actually uh, this is Betty Jean Peterson she's an infielder and catcher and then this lady completely hooked it up she sent a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is Miss Betsy Jockham. Sign my photo I sent. She didn't stop there. She sent a newspaper clipping slash informational about the American Girls Baseball League. Sent a real nice two sided letter. She sent a couple Fritch cards. Bam. And then a AGPBL baseball card as well. Plus another 
informational about her. Sign. Another pamphlet with her contact information in the back. I just won't turn around just because of that. So not all over the internet for her. And then also some more informational. So she, I definitely owe her a thank you note for sure. So thank you so much, Miss Jocelyn. That's absolutely amazing. That's for her book, The South Bend Blue Socks, available at Barnes and Noble and Amazon. So if you want to get her book, there you go. And then finally, we've got some celebrities. Now, this came in Thursday. This is Mr. Ed Burns. He was on the TV series 77 Sunset Strip and a few others. He signed one photo. Um, did not sign this one, which was the magazine cover of the show, which is alright. I usually send two just to like compare with auto pen, things like that. That's the only reason. Sometimes I just send one, it depends. Um, this lady, Suzanne Howard. Can't remember what she was in right off the top of my head, but I did recognize her, and that's why I wanted to send to her. Uh, she inscribed to me with Hebrews 11.1 1 inscription. That's pretty nice to get back. That took a couple months. Um, this is not the same photo I sent him, but this one's honestly better looking than it. Uh, I just sent a 4x4 photo of him, a more current photo. Uh, he's a former actor and bodybuilder from the 50s and 60s, Mr. Uh, Richard Harrison. So that's pretty cool. He sent that photo of his own. Um, got a uh, cast member from Chips. He signed the front and the back. This is Mr. Paul Link. And he's a really good TTM signer, so I'll sign right there. And but Caleb, thanks for being a fan. Paul Link and dated it. Um, got from the Brady Brunch, not brunch, bunch. <laughs> I can speak. Um, the eldest brother on there, Barry Williams. He signs from a theater that he's at. Uh, this one's actually for my mom because she's a big fan of that show. So uh, that'll be going to her. So thank you, Mr. Williams, for signing that. And I got a couple voice actresses. Uh, she inscribed. <laughs> That's funny. She uh, described it to the wrong name, but that's okay. I might be able to take that off. <laughs> uh, Heather North. She put it for James. Whoops, must have been reading the wrong letter, but that's all right. Jeepers. Heather North, she's the original voice of Daphne from Scooby-Doo, and then she later uh, did the voice. So I'll have to take the James part off, but that's all right. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I just noticed that. And then uh, I know her best for the voice of Jimmy Neutron. And yes, uh, until recently I did not know that it was a woman that did the voice of Jimmy Neutron, but I used to watch it all the time when I was younger. It's Miss Debbie Derryberry. And on Star Tiger, she's listed as like charging for autographs, but she did not charge, so I don't know why that was there. But, so that's pretty cool to get her. Very nice. So that's that's my uh, mail recap. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully. The mail will be delivered in the right mailbox tomorrow, and I can do another video. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Hope you have a, had a great weekend, and stay safe out there and going back to work. And uh, have fun watching some videos, guys. Bye.